Hey everyone, it's Kelly here and today I'll be teaching you how to set up Easy Store's mobile point of sale system on any device, be it a phone, tablet or desktop. Let's get started. Now the first thing you want to do is download the Easy Store app on our device. Easy Store app is available on Google Play Store, App Store and Huawei App Gallery. Now let's get started. Okay. So once you have downloaded the app, let's click into it. What you want to do now is activate point of sale system in our back office. Here's how you can do it. Click on channels, scroll down, click on point of sale, enable, and we're going to click on point of sale, view point of sale. All right, so this is actually the old POS interface. If you haven't updated it to the new one, here's how you can do it. On the top left corner, click on the three dot icon, and then we're going to click on try new version and confirm. Now it's going to pop up again, and we're going to click into it. So this is actually Easy Store's point of sale system interface that you or your team will be using on a day-to-day -day basis to serve customers across your retail or bazaar pop-up outlets. So I'm going to walk you through this interface. There are two sections to this. The left section is all the action buttons and on the right section, it gives you a view on your checkout process. Right. So the first thing we want to do is to make sure that our location is correct. How we can do so is by clicking on this HQ location over here. Now in my back office, I have four locations. So what I want to do is make sure that my POS system is activated for the right location because this actually affects how your sales are recorded and in terms of your reporting, your staff performance and all of that, it actually affects that as well. So you want to make sure that you've selected the right location. Now below the location button is this search bar over here. This is actually our universal search bar. Now what this does is let's click into it. It allows you to search for products, orders and customers. Now let's say a customer walks into your store and they want to know whether this product is available or not. You can actually do a quick product search here and you'll see the stock and the pricing. Or if it's an existing customer that's here to you know, get some help on their existing order, you can actually click on orders and view all your past orders to facilitate your customer's transactions. Or if it's an existing customer that walked in your store, you sort of remember their name, but you're not exactly sure what they really like or you wanna get more information, you can actually search for your customer details here. So let's say for my customer here called Aina, I can actually click into view details and get a customer dashboard inside about her preferences and behaviors, which I will explain shortly in the later part of this video. All right, now that we've done with the universal search bar, we're going to look at the quick buttons below that. So now you'll see there are four buttons here by default. So these are actually quick action buttons. Now we've consolidated everything to make sure that it's easy for you to check out and at the same time, it has everything you need. So I'm going to walk you through these four essential quick action buttons and I'm also going to show you how to activate other quick action buttons, all right? So the first one is this scan button over here. It actually activates your device's camera, allowing you to scan product barcodes or even member barcodes. So this is applicable if you have activated member app in your back office, which means that your customers can actually shop with you through the member app and they can actually use their member barcode for you to scan and facilitate this checkout, right? So the next section we're going to look at is orders. This actually gives you an overview on all your order history, which you can use to help your customers check any details or even for your team to check any purchase histories. Okay. So the next section here is customer. Essentially, this section is the same as what we saw earlier. And I'm going to walk you through the interface now. So let's say I'm interested in this customer Aina, I can click on view details. It's going to give me a customer dashboard insights. These are information that will help get an understanding on this customer's preferences, purchasing behaviors, and I'm going to show you how and why, right? So the first thing we're going to see is this progress bar over here that shows you how far or near they are away from the next membership tier. So this gives you an opportunity to upsell and also understand this customer's um, loyalty with your brand. An interesting note is let's say this customer is already on your highest tier, then there won't be a progress bar. So below the progress bar, you see some important metrics, including how long they've been your member, what's their average order value, how many online in-card items do they have, what's their points, how much points have they earned from their purchases with you, and even their credit balance. So essentially, 
um, this information gives you an understanding of the customer. For example, average order value actually gives you an understanding on this customer's purchasing power. Normally, you know, if their average order value is 50 ringgit and today they're doing a checkout of only 20 ringgit, then you'll know that, hey, they can actually spend up to 50 ringgit. I want to introduce and upsell my customer to make sure that they meet or even exceed their average order value. So as you look below, there are actually five buttons here that we have strategically placed here to, to help you speed up the checkout processes. Now, the first one includes send voucher. So this is a tool for you to send customers voucher before they check out. So for instance, you know, your customers, they only have one product in their cart. You can actually allocate this voucher to them on the spot and be like, hey, you know what? If you buy two items today, you will be entitled for 10% off. And it gives them that urge. The next one you have is to add the customer into this cart. So it's a quick action for you to add it in. So the next few action buttons are important if you're looking to personalize your customer experience. Now, the first one is online in-cart items. Essentially, these are products your customers have added into their cart when shopping at your online store. You can also see it as an opportunity for you to upsell because these are products that your customers have shown great interest but just need that little push from you to make that purchase. You know, there's just maybe some considerations going on. It's a very good opportunity to address those concerns face to face. Now, the next action button is bought items. It shows you a list of items they have purchased with you and this actually gives you information on the type of products this specific customer actually likes. So in another word, you can actually personalize your recommendations. Right, so the last button here is actually the order history. It allows you to check um, the purchases they have made with you. Right, so that's all for this customer button right here. Let's click on two products. So this is very straightforward. Let's say you want to do a checkout or you want to search on your product. Everything is now here. You can just easily search for your products and add them into your checkout just like that. Now, if you want to add more quick action buttons, which we actually have, what you want to do is click on this personalized quick actions. So first thing is you can actually set collection as a quick action so let's say i have a series called on sale that i think i will frequently click on you know a lot i can actually set that as a quick action here on my main pos interface so let's click on that and you can see the products that i've added into this collection now of course you have to set it up as a collection in your back office first before you can actually allocate them and place them in this main pos interface right now the next quick action we're going to do is product. This is helpful if you have a product that you must add for every checkout. For example, plastic bag or gift card message. So you want to include them at every checkout, right? So you can actually add them as a quick action for you to easily um, add it into your checkout. Now the next quick action here we have is discount. You can set a title for it and decide whether you want to give this discount in terms of a specific amount or a percentage. Now, finally, on to navigations, this is where you can actually add more quick actions here, such as a custom product, let's click on save, or pick up orders. Right, so let me walk you through what custom item means first. So let's say if your business requires a lot of impromptu product ads during checkout, you can actually use this custom item quick action that allow you to add in a new product instantly. Now the next quick action we're going to look at is pick up orders. Now if you provide buy online and pick up services to your customers, then this will be important for you. Let's click on pick up orders and you will see there are three sections here. To prepare, ready for pickup and completed. To prepare for pickup orders, you want to make sure that we are packing the right products, right? So what we can do is actually select on these pickup orders and we can actually generate a pick list. And we can use this pick list to go into our storeroom or inventory room and get all the products we need, right? Or what we can also do is to actually print a packing slip for these orders. Just like that. Alright, so let's say we have already packed our orders. What you want to do is also inform our customers that, hey, your order is now ready to be picked up. So we can actually do it here as well. Let's click on the specific order, view details. We can actually click on ready for pickup. And as you look at the bottom here, we want to make sure that the notify customer button is activated. And we're going to click on ready to pick up. So this actually informs our customers that, hey, your order is now ready to be picked up. So let's say your customer has already arrived and they have already picked up their products. What we can do now is actually click on view details again and mark it as picked up. So that's it. And once that's done, that order will actually fall into completed. And that's it. It's easy to facilitate buy online pickup and store orders with our new POS. Right, let's go back to our main POS interface. So essentially, I have already walked you through the left section of our POS, right? So now I'm going to walk you through the right side of this interface and show you how a normal checkout will be like when you use Easy Store's point of sale system, right? So the first thing you want to do is add our customer. Let's say I'm going to search for my customer. 
So now I've added a customer into my cart and I'm going to click on the products that she wants to check out. So for example, these two products. So as you can see, right, so the checkout part actually dynamically updates based on this customer's details. What I mean by that is it actually shows up the type of vouchers that is applicable for her purchase or even the maximum points that she can use to deduct from this purchase. And if there are any credits for her to use, we can actually deduct it directly here as well. Now what this does is for your business, it speeds up the checkout process because it helps you to automatically apply and update all these details, making sure that your customers feel valued. It will make them feel that you're not here just to close that sale, but actually personalizing the shopping experience for them, right? So now once we've done with this checkout, we're going to click on the blue button right here. Okay, so if the customer is paying by cash, we can select on cash payment. Or if the customer is paying via external terminals, like your credit or debit card terminals, we can click on external terminal. Or you have other payment methods set up, including Do It Now QR, you can actually facilitate that process right here. So, so if it's a Do It Now QR method, your customers can actually scan this QR code that you have preset in your settings to make their payment, all right? So for example, the customer have already paid, I'm going to mark it as paid. And it will lead me to this post-purchase dashboard. This dashboard actually gives you an overview of what happened, what products has been checked out, how many points your customer have earned, and I'm going to summarize it here, okay? On the left side, it's all the details for your customers, and on the right side, there are action buttons for you to do in terms of payment and receipts and customer interactions. So if you want a print receipt, you can do so here, or email them an e-receipt, you can also do so here, or even if you want to open your cash drawer, you can click on that button here. Now, in terms of customer interaction, this is the fun part because you can actually send them voucher even after they make their purchase. Or you can even include some customer remarks. Let's say this customer prefers this color or whatnot. You can actually include that here as well. Or you can also add a seller note. So this is for your reference. And at the same time, you can view what happened in the order that just happened. So once that's done, we can click on serve next and we're starting fresh again to serve our next customer. Mobile point of sale system is actually a key business asset that helps you unify online and offline shopping experiences for your customers. It's also designed to help you meet the omni-channel shopping behaviors that customers demand today. Now, if you have any questions on how to incorporate this system for your business, contact us in the link in the description below.